Hello everyone, Forex here with another tutorial. In this video I'd like to show you how to add a video file to your mission. And because I feel I should, I'm also gonna tell you my opinion on this, what seems like the best option for me and why. You can take my advice, you don't have to, I don't force anyone to follow exactly my every word, I just want to give you a general idea about the advantages and disadvantages of a video in a Stardom mission. Alright, so as you might have guessed, I'll go through a couple of possible methods that can be used to create any cinematic experience in the mission, let's start. Now the first thing you can do is to make a cutscene directly in the game. This in fact doesn't include having a video at all, but you can achieve practically the same effect. Making a cutscene in a mission means to take away the player's control over his unit, set up a camera that captures the scene and also add the cinematic borders to indicate that the player is not supposed to interact anymore with the game. An intro or outro to a mission is basically a cutscene as well, as you never control any units at all. The difference between the two is that if you make an intro or an outro, you get a completely new empty map, you can make whatever you want, and the player cannot control his unit under any circumstances during that scene. The game has to load the mission after the intro, so you always get a small pause between the two. A cutscene is made and run in the middle of a mission, so the transition from a cutscene to a mission can be smooth and quick, but on the other hand, you have to take into account that while the cutscene is playing, the mission is running as well. Soldiers may die when you don't want them to, it can't be skipped, and you don't have the whole new clean island, you have to use the space in your already built mission. The setup of a cutscene is very simple, you only need to make a camera and maybe the cinematic borders. I have already made a couple of tutorials on the whole camera and intro creation, so you can watch these if you are unsure and for the cinematic border I'm not actually sure if I mentioned that or not, so in any case it's just one command that I will leave somewhere in the description below the video. All the rest of the cutscene can be made using normal commands that you can use normally in a mission, so there's nothing special in that. The in-game created cutscene has some positives that might convince you to make one even though you most possibly came here to watch a tutorial about how to add a video file. The main reason why you may consider making a cutscene is that it's very lightweight in terms of processing. You only use a bunch of commands and you are still inside the game all the time. You don't force additional stuff to process, load, render on the screen and so on. Also you save disk space, basically all you need is one script that's around 3 kilobytes. so if your mission contains other types of files like custom music or textures and you want to send the mission over the internet to someone, it might be wise not to waste too much disk space for them. Also some people might hesitate to download your mission if it has like 500 megabytes. that's just a bit too unusual for a mission and it makes it suspicious. On the other hand, you are still dealing with ARMA, its flaws and its AI, so you might encounter some small imperfections that can happen during the cutscene randomly, because the AI is very random and they can react in different ways every single time. Also it might be tedious to write the code, test it, find out how much the AI simply can't comprehend and rewrite the code again. Of course I'm half joking here, but in some cases it can be tedious to deal with some randomly appearing problems during a cutscene, it can happen. Ok now to the actual video related stuff, I'm sorry by the way if you're new to this channel it usually doesn't take me this long to take to the stuff I should be talking about anyway. Here is a function that you can use to play videos in the game. The function play video enables you to play videos in the same style as playing music or sounds. You just need to choose what video file you want to play and you are pretty much set. The function also has two other optional parameters, but these set the video size in an array of X, Y, width and height, and the color in an array of RGBA format. I really don't see anyone actually needing to use those, most of the time you want to play the video on the whole screen and most certainly don't need to change its colors. I'll leave an example with the additional parameters below the video, but I won't really bother you with explaining this into more details. The main advantage of playing the video directly is the undeniable quality of the cutscene. You will always get practically exactly the same thing that you render as a video. You can add some subtle effects, film the cutscene once, record it and it will always be exactly the same. So if you plan to use some very sensitive animations, you can make sure to get them exactly how you want them to. 
And the main disadvantage is, of course, the size of the file. Especially in multiplayer, I really recommend you not to put any videos inside a mission, and if you really need to, try to keep them as short as possible. Players that come to the server usually need to download the mission first, and they really don't want to sit there for half an hour just waiting, they'd rather just play the mission and forget about some video. So that's the main thing that you really need to consider. And how exactly it works? Well, it's simple. First of all, you need a video, so either download some if you want, or get a recording software like Fraps or some others, record your own cutscene, put it together and add whatever you wish to the video. Then you need a program that converts videos to OGV format. I'll leave a link in the description to a fairly good program that should be good enough for this task. Convert the video, put it in your mission folder and then you can configure the function. Remember, the only needed parameter is the path to the video file including its name, so it can look like this for example. Once you start a video, it will play on the player's screen over the game. The function script also stops at the same moment when the video stops playing, so if you are writing a script, you can actually play the video and then wait for the end with a simple wait until command, where you wait for the completion of the function script with the command script done. Ok, and you have one more option if you didn't like the previous ones for some reason, and that is playing the video from the Steam interface, which then allows you to access a video on the internet, preferably on YouTube or a similar service. If you have watched the community tutorials on the introduction to the game from Dyslexi, that is pretty much what I have in mind. Something like that can be actually made in a mission and it enables you to play a video that doesn't actually need to be a part of the mission itself as it hangs somewhere on the internet web. On the other hand, it brings up the Steam interface, needs to actually load the video from the internet and basically it's just a built in-game video player. In multiplayer it can cause internet connection issues, it absolutely takes the player away from the mission, totally kills all the immersion and generally I really don't like this option that much. I feel like you should never force the player to even open the Steam interface. The only possible use of this method seems to me like an optional part of a training. If you tell the player ok, the next part of the training includes weapons. If you wish to know something about weapon handling before we begin, please press space or something like that. But other than a case like this one, I really can't recommend using this method in a mission. I don't know if I played a mission and suddenly Steam would pop up with a video ready to be played, I would most likely just close the window and return to the game to continue playing. But maybe it's just me, I don't know, you decide that for yourself. This whole thing includes one single command, open YouTube video. The command is extremely simple actually, you just put a link to the video and you are ready to go. The game takes care of the rest for you, so this may be the easiest method of them all, as you don't need practically anything. So that's all from me, choose what method best suits you and your mission, hopefully you will have little to no problems implementing the videos to your missions, and yeah, there's really not much else I could tell you about this. So this is possibly the last tutorial that I make for now, I've made many of them in the recent months and I feel kinda tired of tutorials, so I'll most likely take a small pause for now. I have absolutely no idea what kind of videos I'll be releasing, but hopefully I will come up with something. Feel free to suggest below the video what you want to see here, and after some time I'll return to making more tutorials for you, don't worry. So that's it for this video, I hope to see you in the next one, comment, like and share and have a great day.